Good morning, everyone. This is Jennifer. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Today, I am finally getting out um, the AliExpress slash Amazon um, Halloween items that I want to show you. Um, I apologize for the delay, but my puppy had a health issue and we had to, I had to stick with him over the weekend. He had emergency surgery Monday. He is doing great. He's doing well. He's just that he's 17 and you know, you never know what's going to happen at that age, but he's doing well. So now I'm going to show you the items I worked on and these were ones you could get at AliExpress. But as you know, a lot of times it takes the quickest is probably been three weeks. Most of the time lately, it's been running about five or six weeks. So I was like, there's no point in showing you things that you won't be able to get. So these are the ones from um, that you can get on Amazon. Um, and a bunch of them are the KS Crafts, which I've used before. So let's take a look at what I have. So the first one, um, first one is called the Skeleton... I don't know. I can't even see the name. I'll put the stuff down underneath to show the listing of it. But I just wanted to show you. Um, here they have, you'll see the our trick or treat. And so you can see there's a shadow with it. And our cool little skeleton here. And he even has, and I thought this was so clever, the uh, spider web and the actual spider that's going to go on here. Okay. Well, there's upside down there. Just so you can see it and let me show you how these came out so here we go the first one and again trick or treat and i just thought that's so clever that it has the little spider so you don't have to like recut it in black and then recut it in something else so i thought that was a great um a great method to doing this and all of these if you get them on aliexpress say they're let's say five dollars but on amazon they're probably seven dollars i'd say i paid between six to ten dollars I think one was like ten dollars one set and I lost half that set but I'll tell you about that in a bit so these are really cute um, we've got our trick-or-treat and it's about three and an eighth by three and a quarter which I think is adorable and here we have our skeleton I mean doesn't he look cute on there like to me I think on this kind of thing here's our cool you know Halloween paper there I just love that and I just used a little bit of glitter and play I mean two passes used my little uh, mini on the Gemini mini it's so easy to just sit there and do this glue them together four inches tall so I thought that was adorable so that's the first one so the next one here it says 16 piece Halloween deck and I think this is one of the ones that's Patalai is the name of it again um, this is on Amazon I did see something very similar, um, but it used a different name, and I do have other ones from AliExpress, but I want you, again, to see what you're going to be able to actually get in time to do these for Halloween. So, this was one pass. Now, I just did it all in black outlines, but you can see, I mean, it makes it so easy. It cut really nicely. Cats, bats, tree, skull, um, ravens, uh the gravestones, pumpkins, and that's even a little spider <laughs> house. Okay, and there's still more with this set. Still more going. Okay, then you also got the big pumpkin. I mean, I'm like, I thought this was great. Three inches wide, another mean face pumpkin. <laughs> like one in five eighths. We've got our ghost who is uh, two and a half there. And look at this. Our witch with her own little pumpkin riding on that. Okay, so we've got... Uh, I, I'm not really sure the best way to measure that. But basically like three and a quarter on there. And here we've got, again, two separate little bats. So all this came together in one set. And again, I think this might have been the one, maybe $10. I, I, I'll have to put the things underneath and with the names if I can find them. Um, if you guys are interested, but yeah, 18 pieces and let me show you how they ended up coming out. So I'm just going to dump all this out so we can take a look. So here is our big pumpkin on here. Again, I love things that are one pass. I know I'm, I'm a lazy crafter. What can I tell you? Our ghost 
here we've got i mean look at the little haunted house how great is that with some like uh you know inked up background and you just throw that on there here we have our one of the bats our witch this is now the little ones if you notice are going to be from the plate whereas this is the one that was separate okay let me show you our cat look at that and i do these out of uh, the matte black from crafters companion so it's 300 gsm so it holds up and here we have our bigger witch now which i thought was just great <laughs> like with the i just love the outline or silhouettes as you want to call them here we've got here's our tree let's see here's the ones from the plate the let me see if i can do this a little better hold them here we've got look at the tiny bat i think his eyes are supposed to pop out i didn't do that the little look little pumpkin the skull now i guess if you wanted to you could have put orange and white if you wanted to change the colors did not care I believe that's supposed to be another little bat there. Let's see, here's our creepy birds, which I like. I remember when the kids, my kids were little, and we brought home these black ravens um, for Halloween from Target, and my husband would not let us have them in the house. He's like, oh, that's like death. You, get, you know, made us get rid of them. Wouldn't let us have them. Isn't that something? Okay, and I... I think that's supposed to be a little spider. So I also, if you see, you have the leftover cutout pieces. So if you're going to do another one black, you could paper piece these and the eyes and whatnot back into them. But uh, that was all just like in that single pass. So I thought that was just a lot of fun and it makes for some really quick and easy cards. These were all just matte colors. All right, let me scoop that up, put that away and I will show you the next one. Okay, so this I thought was so cute. Look at these little kitty cats. Okay, so again, this is not a shaker. It's uh, that's just a simple, straight up cutting. And here we've got all the little parts. So these are going to make the little eyes. You'll see in a second. Here we go, and the little bows. And then this one will say, what does it say? Too cute or cute but spooky. Hang on a minute. Let's take them out of the bag here since I made them up, of course. So look at these little cutie pies. My little, cute little cats here. Yeah, cute but spooky. And again, just, oops, got a little glue going on here. But I think these are just absolutely adorable. And I mean, it was such a quick thing. And then you have pretty much your whole card right there. Um, again, two and three quarters and our little... Cutie kitty cats are same thing, just about two and three quarters. So I thought that was another one that's really adorable. And I think this was one of the, you know, like $5.99 um, items. So again, very cute. Okay. So again, um, let's take a look at what we've got coming out here. There's a whole bunch of cute little, I'm sorry, I still have tape on them. What's wrong with me? I guess I was so much of a hurry trying to get them done. I did keep tape on. You can see here, not that, because these little teeny pieces, okay, now that's actually for where the witch's hat, but the these here are for the faces on your different, um, the ghost. So I cut those all out and you'll see them separately. But anyway, so you have two different little ghosties here, which you, again, we can, or I guess, yeah, the, I did have a shaker here. Okay, so let me see. Here's our shaker ghost. We've got, uh, I'm thinking the shaker witch hat. We've got two regular little ghosts. Okay, here's one the little spider, which is also can be a shaker. Has the two little parts to do that as a shaker in here. And I think that's supposed to be his little eyes. Then we've got our little um, two-piece pumpkin, which, I mean, you could have him holding or whatever. This is part of our little, there we go. I'm not sure what the bow tie was for. I don't know if it's supposed to be for a, go, for a ghost or on the hat. I, I don't even know where that's coming out of at this point. It's so much going on in the last few days. Oh, got to pause. Doggies up. We're back. <laughs> okay. So let's show you what these actually make. Now, here's like all the little pieces I was saying about the eyes. 
and mouths and things like that. I just kept separate because, I'm going to show you in a minute, I kept, when I made my shakers, let me just show you, I did these because these are so thin. Okay, here's the little um, shaker ghost. I, if you can look at the side, rather than use foam and try and fight that on the skinnies, I just die cut you know, like seven of them or something and glue them on top. And there you go. They fit perfectly. I'm not fighting with the glue. Um, it doesn't stick on the inside. So I did that a lot for these. I do that oftentimes when it's thin, it just seems easier to me. So, and that's one of his little faces on there. So this guy is, let's see, um, like two and five eighths. So I just think that's, like adorable and then we have our couple little uh shouldn't have done it on show you on purple but um little ghosts i just put the little glittery you know background super quick simple and easy so we have those guys there then let's see um the spider i did just plain regular paper no none of the you know i wasn't doing another shaker for him but it's a good size i'm like i like it <laughs> <laughs> like three inches and like tell me that just doesn't show up real nice on these different uh can you see it there i don't know the papers but i liked it i thought that was really cool looking here's our little pumpkin isn't that cute for whether it's the little ghosties or whatever you're using this actually is a shaker but i just used um you probably i don't even know if you can see it, the orange glitter on orange glitter paper i wanted to see if it would work and while it's clever if you could see it you, uh, you know when you're shaking it you can't tell because it's like the same color glitter as the background but it's cute and it's one and three quarters by two and a half wide but isn't it i mean i just think they're also cute so my plan with this like for this one here was i wanted to take paper and just make a whole just a bunch of hats i'll obviously put the bands and things on here but on a sheet and just have the one with my sentiment and one as a shaker and kind of similar for the ghosts these were the little ghosts whether you're using either way on the sheet of paper i kind of wanted to have i'll put faces on them obviously and just have one as a shaker and the rest kind of floating around the graveyard with some tombstones that kind of thing so i thought and obviously when they're playing you can use them going either direction so that was this set and again just so cute i just didn't have time to put these all into um card form at this point with all that was going on with the uh with the puppy this time so but i hope you like them because they are you know it's just something about it and when you're doing them it just makes you happy or at least it does for me doing some fun halloween brings you back you know to being a kid you know my friend said to me well, who are you gonna send them all to and i'm like probably you <laughs> you know and family and whomever just because they're i think it just makes you know everybody happy when you see something like that it doesn't have to be some momentous occasion just something to say hi i guess or thinking of you or enjoy the season while you're sitting there suffering through the like our house gets anywhere from 150 to 200 kids so, you know, cheer you up and cheer you on. <laughs> okay, the next one, let me see. This is a Chaos Craft one. This one is was really, really cool. So, it's actually um, a whole bunch of, like, edibles. Borders, edibles. You can, some of them you can cut in, you can cut out. So, let me just show you these all together. So, a couple of them, let's see. Let me just kind of pull again you still see the tape on them oh, like debbie robinson would say what am i like okay here we go so these are essentially they're six for a if you see six inch card so four by six or a cross or however you want to do it okay and what you've got here if you look is first we have this lovely fence we've got the dangling you would probably use that way dangling spiders Look at the bones on here. Creepy trees. And then you have this one, which is actually the little witch's feet, whether they're going to be hanging down or coming up. And then they actually give you the little boots so you can do them, punch them right out, and that will give you 
you know, whatever um, color. So it doesn't have to be solid or you can. And then we have our like zombie hands coming up from the bottom. And let me just show you these. I These are fun. I'm like, oh, how, how can you not love this on, on the cars? So here we have our tree. Okay, I should probably have another. Let's slide these off for a minute so you can see these a little better. But here we have our tree. And I just, you know, this is just scrap paper. But doesn't that look great? I mean, I just, ah, these are just wonderful. Just really excited when I saw these. Here we've got our dangling spiders. And honestly, I think I would put some kind of little um, super tiny, like, well, here are the little um, pearls. But I would try and find the tiniest gems or something or glitter drops so I could make it like they have creepy little eyes. You know, that kind of thing. Something like that. So that was really nice on those. Let's see what's next. Here we've got our wonderful, oh, oops, not that one. There we go. The fence. Again, doesn't that look great? I mean, and certainly if you do it in black, it certainly lends itself to looking more creepy, but it certainly doesn't need to be, does it? So I thought that was very clever. Then, let's see, zombie hands. So, again, you, you know, some of these, uh, I just kept that scrap because I'm like, you know, that would look really cool just even if you didn't want to do it this way, just having it, you know, on the edge of your paper that way. So, am I, sorry, didn't even have that in the picture. So, you could use it, some of these, either way. So, really cute again. Let me put that one down. Here we have our, it's adorable little, the witchy feet. Okay, I know this is on purple, so, whoops, that's my bones. Sorry about that. Here's the other part that goes with that. Here's her little shoes, so you can see how the shoes cut out. Or, again, you could just use that as a border, just running it through, should you so desire. Um, here is the... A little hard to see purple on purple but you get the gist where I just did it in purple and then I added the little green shoes from here to add into there so again I love when I first get the dyes and you get that chance to play with them I mean it's just I don't know it's so much fun so this one which is our bones here so I'm thinking you know obviously you'd either you'd want to put this up against white just see real quick here so you could see on the white so you can see the bones would stand out or and they make all these little look at all the little bones that come out so if you cut them out on bones and you need to add little bones anywhere else on your card how cute is that so I of course had to keep them because like I said they're adorable okay so let me just scooch this all away and then I'll show you the next one because there's more Let's see, next one is our, our uh, Frankensteins. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So there's actually three in the set, three different sizes, and they can be cut out as just regular or as, I didn't even break those two apart because I only did the largest one here. Oops, wrong way. There we go. I did the largest one and made this into a shaker, okay, which it cut super easy. And here is my cute little Frankenstein. So how cool is this? I just thought, I don't know why it just makes me laugh, but I liked it. I just thought this cute. And again, with all this detail, making a shaker, there's no way I was fighting the foam on that. This would just, and I wouldn't want to use white anyway. I just layered, um, I think I layered about five of the, I just cut it out and then put a glitter one on top and glued the little parts onto it. So... The largest one here, let's see, he is three and an eighth. Our next guy is two and five eighths. And our baby Frankenstein is two and a quarter. So I thought that was just so much fun to do those. And certainly whether or not you, you I mean, obviously you don't need to make it a shaker. Isn't it just cute having the Frankenstein head? So I thought that was great. So that was the next one, and I think that was a chaos crafts, I think. Um, let's see. Next would be, oh, okay, this one, you know, this is another one of the the other brand, um, 
Padalai, and I think it was $9.99. It actually had nine awesome uh, dies in it, and the bag ripped. I was carrying it around. I was looking for papers and things, and somewhere along the way, the dies fell out of <laughs> <laughs> so i'm left with the halloween but not the happy this really cool haunted house the little kitties okay but there's six more so there's a happy halloween there's a, a really cool um spider web whole like edgeable there's bats it, I, and i'm like i think if i can't find it i'm i'm telling you i ripped this place apart <laughs> trying to find it i don't know where i have stuff stashed all over the house somewhere i dropped it so you can see i didn't even bother with the halloween but the sentiment to just to give you an idea it is three and three quarters so it's a really nice size sentiment i don't know what i did with it and look at the kitties which i thought was adorable that is can i see it here just about four inches by a little over two and a half so i thought that was really clever and this is, I can't believe how much detail, I don't know if you can see it well, but there's ghosts um, on the sides of here and the spooky tree. And I just thought there's embossing showed up, all these little parts. I'm trying to see if I have something here better so you can see it a little more easily. How's that? I thought that was great. So, so cute. Again, on those inky backgrounds, it's, um, let's see, two and... I don't know, just under three. Let's go with that. So I don't have, I don't have my glasses on there. Okay, so let me just, and I, I'm seriously thinking of buying this again because it's ten dollars, and there was, what did I say, nine, in here, and they're good size, and they were so nice. Then I took them out and I looked at them. I'm like, oh, those are so great, and now I can't find them. So, I'm sure many of you will do that, and you'll find, you know, you left it where you thought it should be, but this time I actually was walking around, didn't realize the bag was ripped, and so it's my own fault. But check that one out, because it is really cute. Okay, two more. The next one is my little cauldron. Oh my gosh, and like, look at, look at this little fish even in there. <laughs> I thought that was great. So... Let me just put that on there. That might make it a little bit easier to see here. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that cute? All right. And I just did, you know, the little extra bubbles going up. And it's adorable. It comes pretty much, this is a, just one of, the, this was a less expensive one. But you can use it regular or as a shaker, which I just, for Halloween and kids, I don't know. I'm on a shaker kick, I guess. But the different parts are in here, so you can do extra bubbles, which is how I did these little holographic ones. And we have our fish and the broom and extra bubbles and, you know, the whole thing. So I thought that was real cute. And it came out to three and three quarters. Isn't it adorable? So it is, oh, this is an awesome one. This is Chaos Crafts. Um, it is this beautiful... I can show you good size Halloween or fall, however you want to call it, pumpkin, which you can paper piece or you can use it as a shaker, which is what I've done. You have the word thankful. Let's see. Yeah. Three inches with the shadow layer. Let me just show you the here. So we've got thank you, which is this one here kind of like all over the place today I know um, again with the shadow layer so that makes it very nice and it comes out to you know two and a quarter by I'm guessing two inches so I thought that was real nice I just picked up some scrap paper to try that one these also here you can see I cut the letters out for the um, where did I put it here? Hang on. For the thankful, I cut out the letters. And you certainly, if you centered this better, you could make that into your little shaker. Just use the letters. But I use that with the shadow, of course. Here we give um, just over three and a quarter. And I think these are about one inch. Yeah. So, again, real cute. Then we've got, here's our little pumpkin face and a couple of the little pumpkin leaves for on our pretty pumpkin. So, let me just show you. So, First one, I haven't glued on my bows, sorry. But I just did it with regular card. It's got a bow and made it into just a little 
a little card because I just thought, oh, that's too cute. Got to be able to make a card for that. And it's four inches by um, just under a hair under three and three quarters. So I think those are adorable. And then I, of course, had to do one again. Didn't bring the hot glue out to do my um, ribbons here yet. But just to do this as another shaker card or in this case, a shaker and decorate your card or, and of course you could certainly cut this into your card however you want to do it. But, uh, this is another one you could see the orange. I, this one I actually could have used tape, but I don't know. It seems to be easier for me to just cut the layers, glue them and be done with it. So that was there and we have our, all our little leaves in there and some pretty fall colors in there. So absolutely adorable. And then I even kept some of the other ones. So that I'll do a background and then I'm going to paper piece the colors, like the pieces back into it. I don't know which piece goes where, but you get the gist of it. So it looks like there's a little bit of dimension to my, here we go, to my, uh, to my pumpkin here. So we'll do it kind of like that way. And I just haven't had time to do a paper piecing and that's it. So now I have, oh my gosh, got to get the glue gun, finish these, all kinds of things, find the other <laughs> ties that went missing i've got anna griffin super sale that came in i've got echo park coming in, in a couple days i've got um from the anniversary sale from crafters companion and i still have the next one i'll be showing you is from the tonic uh vault sale so i've got a lot coming so please stay tuned um if you like i love chatting with you guys when you're posting your comments and appreciate you watching so much so have a wonderful rest of your day and i hope your halloween and fall is off to a good start and in a few weeks we'll start christmas stuff then thanks for popping by see you later